Well, hi everybody, it's Carrie from Carrie's Corner down in Texas, and I had a request to do an updated home video. So, here we go. Coming in the front door, and I'll take some more extended. Alrighty, this is through my front door. And obviously this is my living room. And I got lots of DIY projects in here that I'm going to show you. So, this one in particular is an old rusty table that I found, and I painted it, distressed it, and then put a really pretty lace tablecloth on top of it. This second one here is a beautiful hutch that was in really bad shape. I, stand, I finished, refinished the top and then painted the bottom and it turned out really nice. It's sort of an entryway piece. This one here, that's actually a target piece that was this old awful pine color and I just painted it. Coming over is my beautiful service dog, Dookie. And this little cart here is, is a dinner cart that's extendable and I painted that as well. Painted this, this was from our original dining room set many many years ago and it was a pine color and I chalk painted it and sealed it and um, turned out really nice. Back over in here, that's where we just came from. And that goes back down into my hallway. And another little dining cart right here that I just use in the window for my plant when we're not using it for dinner. Uh, this piece over here is a really interesting piece. This was, I found on the side of the road and it was really banged up and I, but I loved the, the legs on it. And so my son decided to use his woodworking machine here. That's my youngest son right there. And he engraved our initials in it and made a topper for us, which I just thought was really cool. Uh, these frames are also a DIY. This is the, some stickers that I found and I painted them and then put them inside the frames. This is my parents who have been married 63 years and my husband and I are 30 years next Monday. And then this goes from family room into my beautiful kitchen, which is the heart of the house. And my oldest son, this is a DIY, this beautiful black table that he built for me. And I love it because it's square and our entire adult family can fit around this and we can have just wonderful dinners. I love square tables because everybody can see everybody like round ones. And then this this hutch over here actually is um, was black and it was just too heavy for this room so I went ahead and I painted it white to give the room what looks like some more depth to the room and, and I have my curtains kind of closed right now because it's so hot here in Texas. That is an outdoor rug to tip. You don't have to spend a fortune to get a really nice rug, especially when you're gonna have food on it and it cleans up perfectly. This beautiful uh, chandelier here, as you can see, that is a, actually a golf trophy. My dad's a retired professional golfer and that is one of his trophies that he won, which is obviously a beautiful family heirloom. And this trophy over here actually is his very last win when he was on the senior tour. And then I have all sorts of um, antique china that I've got from my mom, Shelly China. And that beautiful plate right down there is a master's plate. My dad had master's trophies and um, these little hutches actually were also pine and I just did not like the way they looked and so I painted them black and the china and the crystal just absolutely stands out when you paint them black like that. 
And then into my beautiful kitchen area. I just absolutely adore my kitchen. Absolutely adore it. This little thing is a cute little idea here too. This was a table and chairs and I replaced the the stools with taller stools because they go up and down so my grandkids can sit there when they come over. So I have three grandkids, it works great. They all sit right here while us adults can have dinner and it's it's just, it works out really, really nice. And it's just so great to have all this counter space to work in. Um, over here, this is a DIY, these little wreaths that I just adore. Uh, this is a DIY, my son made this. All these DIYs, by the way, are available on Carrie's Corner. And um, these little stickers are also available on Carrie's Corner. And then one of the, the biggest things that, in this house anyways, that I wanted to show you, this is a DIY laundry room and my son and husband built me this shelving unit up here. I um, hate those louver doors and they don't do anything to cut the noise and I thought, well, let's just make it a showpiece. And so they built me that beautiful unit up there and um, I just love it. We also turned this little bench into a DIY project. What we did is we cut the bottom of this out and we have a sliding um, tray so for our shoes when we come in through the back door we can immediately take our shoes off, put them there, and then not track anywhere through the house. So it's a great idea. That's the look from the other direction down into the dining room. This is also a DIY project of mine that I absolutely adore. It is a writing desk that I turned into, originally it was a bar, and I turned it into uh, a showpiece for my antique black crystal that I found and my wedding stuff. And that is pink on the inside, pink right here, and the rest of it is gray, as you can see. Then in here is my little, oh, I got to turn the light on for you guys, my little powder room. And uh, it's just a little powder room, but it sure is nice to have this extra little bathroom. So when people come over, they don't have to use the upstairs or go into our room. And then this is our room here. This is also a DIY, guys. Love this, this is sort of just my memory board, I write notes to myself, it has all our family birthdays under it. One of the biggest items that my husband has ever built is this bed. This is a DIY bed, he made this from scratch and I just love it because that's a California King and it is, we get so many compliments on it. He also made me these picture rails up here. I love seeing my family photos everywhere. So he made this picture rail and he made that picture rail. The little corbels I got at dollar store and I just painted them. And I, I do love the way they turned out. And then this is our, this is our bedroom. We don't have a huge master bedroom, but we gave up some things to get land and a huge kitchen and so it's okay. We have plenty of room. We just sleep in here. This is our bathroom, which we will eventually redo, but for right now, it's just fine. We have redone this. We had a freeze last year and so, my um, husband and son pulled this entire unit out. They replaced the countertop. My son built this counter for me. It's wood and it's stained gray. And then I repainted the cabinet and um, we put shiplap up here. And I replaced the 
full mirror that was all the way across. I hate those things. It takes up the whole room. And I put these nice decorative mirrors on it, which I really love. These little um, medicine cabinets, they come from Hobby Lobby. They're great and they're really inexpensive. Hobby Lobby is a great place for DIY um, if that's the look that you're going for, which obviously I am and obviously Katie is intro, I mean, uh, Carrie's Corner is definitely all about farmhouse Americana. And this is leaving our bathroom into our bedroom. And then from our bedroom, we make the circle, if you will. And this is our hallway. We've got all our family pictures here. This is my parents dad and my mom, my husband and I, and then my boys, my youngest, and my oldest. And then this leads you back to our living room. So that's our downstairs. So I'm going to turn this off and do one more scan real quick here. And then I'm gonna go upstairs and I'm gonna do the upstairs for you as well.